Mark 16, 19. So then, after the Lord had spoken to His disciples, He was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere. The Lord working with the disciples and confirming the word they preached. How? Through the accompanying signs. Say this, the signs follow the word. The word don't follow the signs. The signs follow the word. Let's not get unbalanced. I believe in the move of the Spirit. You know that. And we should desire it. We should desire spiritual gifts. Long after them. But don't ever put anything above the word. And it's accuracy. Be accurate, pastors. Don't invent things. Make up things. Don't lie about what God said to your people. Don't say God said this when He never said it. If you don't know, shut up. Really? There's a lot of stuff I don't preach because I don't know it all. If I'm not sure about it, I'm going to stay away from it. I only preach what I know. Somebody said to me the other day, are you sure your doctrine's right? I said, I'm 100% sure my doctrine's right. He said, how can you be so sure? I said, I have a simple formula. And this is how I run my life. Jesus said, or the Bible said, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses that every truth be established as a doctrine. So I don't preach anything unless I can prove it at least three or four or five times in the Bible. Then I preach it with boldness. That's my formula. If I can't find that scriptures, I'm not going to preach it. Or I'll tell you, this is a theory. You understand? Let's not make things up. Hello. <laughs> Daddy's <is> home. Now, <laughs> I, I reserve, I reserve, <laughs> I reserve the right to talk to you like this. I hope you give me the grace to do it. Okay. Now then. Unfortunately, in Christian circles, in the Western world today, the word of a neighbor has more value than the word of God. Unfortunately, in Christian circles today, the word of a husband is more acted on than the word of God. Unfortunately, the world today that we live in among Christians in the Western world, the word of the wife is more heeded than the word of God. Unfortunately, in the world today amongst Christians, the word of the boss is more heeded and acted on than the word of God. Unfortunately, in Christian circles in the world today, the word of a friend is believed more and acted upon more than the word of God. Therefore, the word of a man has more authority in life than most Christians' hearts than the word of God. God's word does not have the authority in the heart of a believer as much as everyone else. People would far quicker act on the word of their banker than the word of God. People would far quicker act on the word of their lawyer than the word of God. Unfortunately, most Christians walk by sight. They trust their senses more than they trust the word of God. This is simply because, this is simply because, the reason for all of that is simply a lack of time meditating in the Word of God. Because if we'll spend time meditating in the Word of God, faith will rise in our hearts and we will believe the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and meditating. That is the Joshua Principle. God said to Joshua in Joshua 1.8, He said, meditate in my word day and night that you may observe to do 
all that is written therein. In other words, if you want to do all that's written in there, therein, then meditate in my word. Because if you meditate it, you will automatically be start acting on it. But if we don't spend time in the Word, we'll be doing what everybody else says. We'll be double-minded in all our ways and we'll be unstable, as lost as a goose in a snowstorm. Nothing's going to work. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.